dipped her snout into a puddle of my own waste to determine whether she was trustworthy or not. Oh, waste. That's yuck. Anyway, we'll talk about that later. Defecate. Welcome to episode number 18. Is it 18? Yep. Short-term memory loss. Michael's high. Oh, dude. Short-term. Too many oils. <laughs> <laughs> so many different oils. We've just been singing for We've half just been hour having different been types of up. oils around the house. Vegetable. Um, what are we? What's happened? What are we doing on the weekend? We've been ah, oh, we've been very healthy. Last week was okay. <laughs> last week was fucked. Right after the podcast last week. Oh, this is yeah. why the, this is why a we week. can Twitch stream and it's been exactly me. a week. It's been stressful because I felt so shit for so long and, and I've lost like six kilos in weight. And then after the podcast last week, I fucking felt a lump like on my abdomen. So I freaked out. Went to the doctor, had to go get an ultrasound, and it turns out it was just a um, a benign little fucking lipoma thing. But I was like convinced that I was fucking had cancer and I was going to die. Yeah, it was a rough few days. We didn't get much content done. <sighs> yeah, but um, fuck, I've survived. I've beaten cancer now. Yeah, fuck, you're not that hard. That was so quick, and and like, yeah, it's like it's a bit shit. You normally have to do, but it w- wasn't that difficult. Oh man. Wow, you're good at that shit. Yeah, it's just like, just like I was just like, whatever. Then just be not like dangerous. You in shoot that. it away. I sh- I'm dangerous in that, and then I like, yeah, Sweeped just it out the door. Smushed it out. That's hot. Yeah, I like that. It's very hot. Um, but other than that, we're we're fucking on a massive health kick. We haven't been, we haven't had a bloody drink or a bloody seventeen bloody, days, I think. And we've been eating real well. We've uh, he's obviously we're still doing a bit of fucking weed oil every fucking now and then. Matt Brown, sorry. No, um, um, you don't want to lie to everyone, do you, Michael? Oh, I had a cruiser on Sunday. You fucking dog. Fuck, I did have you one You fucking drink. dog. I just wanted it for the flavor. It's like a fizzy <laughs> drink. Literally like soft drink. It's we amazing. Had a, look, I had a couple of wines last Friday as well. <laughs> and, 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 to be yeah, honest, you I've can have getting, a few here I've and there. I've been getting tanked look, every fucking saw, night. <laughs> yeah, we I go home and I have two bottles of wine every fucking night. <laughs> fucking bag Tuesdays is always, there's always something. I had a smoke of the meth. I had a smoke of the meth <laughs> this morning. <laughs> You want the truth? <laughs> no, but we have cut back a lot. And yeah, like haven't been drunk for a while. And, <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're feeling, we're feeling a bit better. And yeah, it's just, it's just good to be out and about. <laughs> it's going to be back. <laughs> it's going to be back, isn't it? It's <laughs> just <laughs> 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 we're losing control <laughs> everything we just said was false we don't know what day it is <laughs> it's all an act <laughs> 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 Um, and oh, that's shit. and that's what happened. That's what happened this week. Oh my god! Fuck! All right, <clears throat> moving along to. <laughs> 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 Fuck off, Queen. <laughs> so Matt Brown uh, handed me these um, facts today, and like to be honest, I don't, I don't want to read them. I didn't want to read some of these. They're very confronting, and um, <clears throat> I guess also interesting though. So um, yeah, he's done it again. He's um. He's putting in the hard yards. He's being so statistician. He's putting in the hard yards at the lab. He's first first in doing the- He's last out. Chemicals. Oh, you, you bet your bottom dollar he's last out. I can't see that coming in there. I'll put a few pennies 11, on it. 11.30 p.m. He's still in there smoking. Fuck me. Is the meth help? <laughs> On this day, in 1959, James Dean punched six kilograms of mulch up his asshole to prepare for an acting role where he played the lead role of a rose bush. Oh, I guess that would help you be more planty. Yeah, apparently he was really like, he always, uh, what's it called when you um, get really into character? Like you don't. Jim Carrey does it a lot. Uh, You're a method actor. Method actor. Meth on actor. Holy shit. That's how they do it. Yeah, so he's a ma- massive method actor and um, punched six kilograms of mulch up his asshole. <laughs> that's that's a lot of mulch for those uh, for those of you wondering at home. <laughs> let me just say <laughs> let, let me just say that much right now. Stand up and tell him. Let me just say that much. For, <laughs> he may still will he may still be with us. 
<laughs> if he hadn't punched six kilograms of mulch up his ass. Fucking applaud that. Applaud that, Matt. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> 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 All right, here we go. Oh, All right, try and get the giggles down. On this day in 2003, arms stood up against the tyranny of legs and all banded together in one huge line of arms that spread from America all the way across the ocean to Australia. Legs have since conceded that arms are also an integral limb and have been for all humans. <laughs> Bit of history there, and I'm sure everyone remembers where they were when that happened. <laughs> you just everyone's torsos for a bit. <laughs> yeah, one of my relatives was actually like one of the arms there, so yeah, I remember that. That was crazy. Holy shit! Oh, I haven't on this day. We should have a moment of silence for arms. <laughs> oh man, fuck! No, let's just have a 10 second moment let's of silence one. to just remember arms. <laughs> All right, and uh, begin. Can you shut the fuck no, no, up? Let, it, let him keep laughing. Just let him keep laughing. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, thank you. Yeah. On this day in 2004, <laughs> Katie Holmes was involved in a peculiar accident where six birds flew at her at incredible speeds and all slammed. <laughs> this is so hard to read when I'm high, man. <laughs> <clears throat> Let me try again. All right, here we go. In 2004, Katie Holmes was involved in a peculiar accident where six birds flew at her at incredible speeds and all slammed into her skull in very quick succession. The resulting blows led to severe internal bleeding and she sustained some moderate brain damage. Then she married Tom Cruise. <laughs> Dude, that is fucking good. <laughs> It paints such a beautiful image. <laughs> that's what. Man, if I could go with Tom. Holy <clears throat> shit. Oh, that's hot. That's hot. <clears throat> On this day in 1990, Madonna opened a restaurant where she sold the meat from 13 year old girls <laughs> in a few of her signature dishes. She was later sued and forced to sell 13 year old boy meat as well, as just selling girls was deemed sexist. Boy meat. Boy and girl meet. I heard Jeffrey Epstein was helping her. In that. I did hear that too. Okay, yeah. You should have written that in, man. You should have written that at the fucking end. You're writing these. You know that information. Put it at the end. That's interesting. You're going to make fuck up like that. Come on. Do you own magnets? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously? Uh, what, fridge? what? Fridge magnets? Yeah, just magnets in general. Um... I think I've got a couple on the fridge, but I think mostly it's the photos of James. James put lots I think of magnets really tell a, a lot, what type of magnets you have, say a lot about you. Yeah. I've, well, I don't think we own any. I think we own have a few magnets. We've got a lot of real estate ones. Yeah. So Michael's really like loves his landlords and kingpin real estate. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I go so to he auctions. Has, so, he has, so he has magnets. We've got a plumbing one. Yeah. So Matt's always got- An electrician one. Loves pipes and stuff, so- I okay. always had an interest. Is that all of them? Uh, yeah. Yeah, that was all of them today. <laughs> you guys should release some fridge magnet. Yeah, we, I, I think somewhere. we actually have. Hey, look. Which I'm reminds me, this podcast is brought to you by the University of Markle. Go on fucking pace. Give us $5 a fucking month. Hurry up. Hurry up. Go. Quick. But you get Go. two Subscribe. weeks free. Yeah, you get two weeks free and you get to watch all our shit. All our shit that we can't post on social media. Really fucking awesome videos, okay? Really. You want me to be honest? They're good. Okay, they're very, very good. <laughs> it's some of the best shit some we've ever been... done. Some of the best shit we've ever done, cunt. Okay, it's on there. You haven't seen it the unless child, you pay for it. Okay, the child abuse video is pretty good. So fucking universityofmarkle.com, Okay, and just fuck. Come on, give it here. Give us, give us a bit more. Hurry. <sighs> anyway, uh, moving on to the next segment. <laughs> <laughs> That's our promo for our website. <laughs> Hurry up. Next segment, which has been renamed to <laughs> And this is just a segment where we read uh, questions that you guys have sent in to our Instagram. First question is from Noah Jasek, and he has asked, What are some cheeky Australian alcoholics drinks you would recommend for an American? Wine, beer, etc. Looking to switch stuff up, and I know you blacks know some good piss. Uh, yeah, we Stone and wood piss. beer, I reckon. 
Uh, yeah, I love me a bit of beer. Um, You'd probably you can tell wine. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't. Depends what you're into. It's such a broad question. Like, and like, yeah, uh, yeah. It's like, I drink wine. That's pretty much all I drink now. Um, I have the top ten Australian beers from New Idea Food. If you want to hear them, yeah. Look, look, Matt. We'll have a fucking listen. Okay, we'll listen to five, and then we'll we'll see how that's going. Okay. Actually, I can only see eight, so I'll read eight. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is from uh, Wheezy Fox. Wheezy Fox. Wheezy Fox. It's fun to say. Have a go. Wheezy Fox. Have you ever found any crazy animals in your toilet? Yeah, just the ones I've put in there. Geese. <clears throat> large, I, large rats I've put in there. When I lived in the shipping container at Greg's property, <laughs> a fucking frog came up. <gasps> green tree oh. frog. So many times I had to get Greg to come down and get him out. Because <laughs> I, I can't deal with that. It's like a creepy crawly. It's fucked. What did you find in your room today? Oh, oh, like a grasshopper the size of a ruler. Yeah, huge. Like it sounded like a fucking drone when it was flying through there. It's oh. so sick. It's huge and hard. Like a wooden wooden outer case. <laughs> fucking disgusting. A <laughs> wooden outer case. <laughs> He's got armor. He's got armor. All right, next questions from from Corey. This is to Michael. Have you ever had Corona beer in a can? I know I live just north of Mexico. I don't know if they sell it anywhere else. Yes. <laughs> Michael's, Michael's had every beer out of every fucking can, tin, glass, sand, mud hut. <laughs> this is a question from 03 slash Terrace. Question, what's the most fucked up you have ever been? <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah, oh, I don't even want to talk about it. It's too fucked. <laughs> what was yours? Remember the fucking... No, yeah, I don't want to talk about it. Yeah, fuck. Um, there have been some fucked times. Yeah. But like, yeah, it's not... Yeah, they're horrible. They're fucking horrible. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, obviously, yeah, mum's found me with shit all through the bathroom. <laughs> that was fucked. Like, yeah. it's all over me. That's probably... That's a pretty fucked way to get. All right, next question from Greg Shelton. Two questions for each of you two face fuckers. What are your five favorite animals that you'd love to own? Forget about logistics. Five favorite animals. I have to say cow. Mini cow. Yep. Dog. Goats. I want a little pig and a oh, little pets sheep. Pets to own. Right. Okay. So yeah. like a, in a barn and you'd sleep with them. Yeah. I guess a, a, um, a, t- a tea kettle pig. Is that what they call them? They're the small ones that yeah. stay small. I get a cat as well. Like, so there's like a, and create a bitter rivalry. I'd swap the sheep with a llama. I'd want a llama. And I'll get a seal and just keep it in my bathroom as well. That'd be cool. Have a seal in there with you. Is that five? Yeah, I think so. And I want my seal like really big and have the tusks so it's a bit dangerous. Would you fuck the cow that you own? Yes. Yeah. Oh, nah. I don't know. It's a t- I don't want to... Th- it really... It frustrates me to think about it because it's such a difficult question to ponder. It frustrates me just thinking about that problem. You feel a bit fiery. At the I'd, be, I'd be fucked... I'd be fucking horny all the time and been, I'd, it, it would it ruin my fucking life. Okay. Well, Next we'll, question. We'll on, sorry. Also, what are your favorite types of movies? Um, I just love comedies like Hot Rod, Anchorman. Yeah, I just fucking... Comedies, I just like to get them and just shove them. Shove them down my fucking head, cunt. Yeah, comedy. You've seen yeah. it. Matt's seen it. I just fucking get... Just <laughs> suck them in. Yeah. Eat the DVDs. <laughs> I eat the DVDs. Of the comedies. Just fucking slam them into my face until they eventually go down my fucking mouth hole, you cunt. <laughs> I, I eat the DVDs. <laughs> the DVDs. I eat the DVDs. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Michael. <laughs> I eat the DVDs. <laughs> what about the Blu rays? <laughs> <laughs> Pop a Blu-ray in. Let's pop a Blu-ray in. Pop a Blu-ray in my mouth. Mm. <laughs> oh, fuck. That was so good, dude. I really enjoyed that. What about you? Favourite types of movies, Michael? Oh, Freddy Got Fingered. 
not another teen movie. Watch that. <laughs> yeah, that is pretty. It's good. a classic. It's just stupid comedies, I guess, as well. Not anything that's not Fast and Furious or Avengers. <clears throat> Pills and Chills has said, what inspired both of you to start doing what you're doing now? Also been loving your shit since the start and the best wimps and shrimp dicks just to fucking make what people laugh. Think, yeah. Right? For comedy, I guess. We, yeah. Just had to show, we had to show people. We just wanted to have, have a laugh with everyone. Make, make you forget about death for that split second when you're hunched over in laughter. You don't really think about death. Three minutes of fucking distraction. That's and what then laughing boom. is. Laughing is the, the only time you're completely not thinking about death. And then once you finish Otherwise, laughing. Otherwise, it is always lurking in your consciousness. Once you finish laughing, laughing, that's all you're thinking about. The thought, the action. It will happen. It will happen to everyone. Everyone dies. The thought is always there at the back of your mind. Ooh. Pushing against your brain. Pushing it against your eyeballs. Oh, Building it's... pressure. Pressure. When will it happen? When will it happen? Oh. <laughs> anyway. Fuck. Okay, it got dark then. <laughs> yeah, so that's that. That's, that's, height of my... that's what that is. <laughs> I forget what the question was. <laughs> I think it wasn't if we liked movies. What movies yeah, did so, we do Something like? about some movies or something. No, like why that. did we get <laughs> Why did we get into it? That's what it was. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the DVDs. <laughs> the DVDs got us into why we do it. <laughs> Ain't no Blu-ray shit here. <laughs> which brings us, of course, oh. to our um, next segment, which has been renamed oh, to... Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> and there is a segment where we just unbox uh, stuff that you guys have sent in to our, uh, to our PO box. And um, we have two things this week. One is a mistake. <laughs> Someone sent this in by mistake. It's to actually not to us. And it's like some tax thing. So we probably shouldn't open it. And the second is, uh, is this. So um, uh, fingers crossed, it's something nice, hey, <laughs> and not um, put it there, mate, and not something nasty or something like that, hey. <laughs> <laughs> you remind me of Mr. Bean. That's who you are. I've decided. <laughs> that was Bean. Mr. Bean. 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 Ooh, look at oh, take a Look at take a clean, my Holy fucking dog shit! Would you look at that? Someone's drawn us on bloody Microsoft <laughs> Paint or something. That's pretty bloody. That's pretty bang on, bang on, isn't it? Oh, look at Michael. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, it does look ridiculous. Very good. Glorious ringworm kings. Bless you, bless you for being the funniest nonsense this shitty world has. Seeing all the horrific things that happen to Michael give me a reason to live. <laughs> I got a friend of mine to make this art of you and I hope it earns a place on your wall. Her Instagram is green is gross. So at green is gross, all one word. And she's exceptionally talented. Please give her a shout out. Yeah, guys, if you want to fucking see this sort of shit, head on over there, all right? And please comment and on the art she's done of us. Thank you very much. Um, keep up the good work and keep sodomizing those cows, Marty. Your local ringworm at Lockie, L-A-C-H-I-E underscore bubbles, B-U-B-B-L-E-S. Bravo. Hurrah! It's really great. It's really great. All right, for stunt time at you this week, we're coming right out of out of Las Vegas. We're going to clap as hard as we can four times. You're high fiving, you mean? <laughs> yeah, we're, we're ag- clapping hands. We're ag- <laughs> You're high five. We're aggressively high fiving, and this will be the title of this podcast too, because that's I would watch that. <laughs> like these aren't going to be just fucking normal high fives. We're going to be. This is going to be. Yeah, I'm worried. I'm worried. Yeah, I'm scared now too. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Ready? <laughs> Oh. <laughs> it's sort of nice. Is it up to prank call time? Not yet. What is it up to? Uh, it's up to prank call time, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's my dad, name Peter. 
Say you are an animal rights or RSPCA. Say someone brought a goat off him and it's bad and and it's had human babies. <laughs> babies now, now you have to repress all his animals. What? Repress all his animals. He sells goats, chickens and whatnot for a living. He will get toasted if you push the right buttons. Be funny as fuck. Yeah, all right. That's good, eh? That's perfect. Okay, That's so... Human. Have you recently sold a gun? Why was I <laughs> recently sold a gun? <laughs> Hello? G'day, is this uh, Peter? Yeah, it is. Yeah, g'day, mate. It's just, yeah, it's just Trevor it's Walt just here like, from the RSPCA. Yeah. I was just wondering if you have a moment to chat. Are you there now? Yeah, mate. Um, so just plug, just plug in your stereo. Yeah, yeah, no worries, mate. Um, have you recently sold a goat? Sold a goat? Yeah. Yeah, mate. Yeah, well, we've just had reports from the new owners that there's um, dried cum on its arse. Oh, right, oh. That'd yeah. be from the son-in-law, I reckon. Yeah, so, um, we, we, you know, these types of claims, we have to come and check them. So, um, are you free? <laughs> No, I'm, I'm not free, mate. I'm driving a B-double, mate. Are you free for coffee sometimes? Are you free for coffee sometimes? Check with the son-in-law, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. Don't worry about the fucking goat. Where, where you, where, we're flirting. Sorry? <laughs> we are, oh, I'm a bit fl- flushed. I'm a bit flushed. <laughs> Sorry, it's just... Goat. It's probably I'm, the daughter's boyfriend. I'm, I'm, flirt- I'm flirting with you. Oh, oh, I'm all flushed and hot and sticky. Hey. <laughs> oh, there's sweat pooling at my feet. I'm so flushed. Mm. <laughs> hey, you, you can have a turn if you want. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, fucking hell. Who's this fucking, the fucking RSPCA, mate? <laughs> no, this is, uh, this is Marty and Michael, mate. You're, um, you're, I think, I don't know, I think your daughter might have set you up here. Uh, the bastards. Yeah. Yeah, she I'll sent- I'll fucking give it to her. Yeah, yeah, let her fucking have it. Marty, give her a bloody bit of money. All right, no thanks, worries, thanks. For, thanks. Good, eh? No worries, mate. Thanks for putting up with that shit. No worries, brother. Right. Gotcha. See ya. Oh. <laughs> What the fuck was that? <laughs> what the fuck was that? Was that a prank call? I don't know, dude. But or I was just... we just we, were we just like having sex on the phone then? <laughs> Why was he so? Did he, he didn't even know? He's like my RSPCA my R. <laughs> did he think it was that, actually that until like, he heard me laughing? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> oh. oh man, that was fucking weird. I knew I wasn't going to be able to say that with a straight face. <laughs> yeah. He kept it like he didn't fucking keep laughing though. That would have been so hard not to. Oh, man. All right. Well, clearly we are the fucking best by far. Best. We're fucking... It's, it's official. <laughs> Holy shit. That was the best thing I've ever seen. The best. You're welcome. <laughs> We're the best. We're the best. We're the best. We're the best.